The road rehabilitation program spearheaded by the Ministry of Works and Transport restarted this week. At the Maracas Valley Road Paving Project on Friday night, Minister of Works and Transport Rohan Sinanan addressed naysayers, assuring members of the public that a lot of road paving work is being done as promised, with the most urgent projects being addressed first. This road actually uh, borders two constituencies, the Tunapuna constituency and the St. Anne's constituency. So we're here tonight, uh, this is an uh, eight-kilometer road where we'll be doing the spot paving throughout all the bad areas on, on the road. The work includes the milling and paving of bad parts of the stretch and assessing drainage issues which will be addressed following the completion of road paving works. Minister Sinanan noted that most of the major work throughout the program will be done at night so as not to disrupt daytime activities and commuters. Once we start a job, we don't stop until it's completely finished. But on a road like this, they will not work during the day. They will work uh, throughout the night. So yes, there's some inconvenience. However, it's all for the better of the road that work in Trinidad. This project is expected to be completed by Monday. The Ministry's Highways Division, the Programme for Upgrading Roads Efficiency Unit, and the Bridges, Land Slip and Traffic Management Unit are all involved in the Road Rehabilitation Programme. The Ministry plans to address 70 critical land slips and undertake over 500 road rehabilitation projects across Trinidad for 2023.